Greetings folks! In this video we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to create tabbed forms in Power Apps. So first off we've just opened up a blank canvas app and changed the background color there. Throw in a horizontal gallery and put a button in the gallery. We're going to do a custom data source just 1 through 10. It'll give us the effect of 10 different tabs. And to give these buttons a little bit different look, we're going to go ahead and we want to change the value first. So have the buttons actually say what the tabs are. And we're going to change the fill color of these buttons so people know which tab they're actually on. We're going to do that with an if statement. And if this item is selected, it's one color. And if it's not selected, it's a different color. And one of them is half 0.5% opacity. There we go. So gives the effect. So now we know which button is selected. We're going to go ahead and round these edges off, make them look a little more like tabs. And just to show that it doesn't have to be numbers, you can put words in here, whatever you want. So every single tab can be named wherever you want it to be. Go ahead and update that. And we're going to insert a form control and set this form control to just a list that I have and turn on as many fields as possible just to give us a nice long list and show how we can manage all this data just on one screen without having to navigate to a different screen. So we'll go ahead and change the fill of our first data card and the entire form control itself. What you do is you just go over to the visible property of each individual data card. What is selected in gallery 2, that value. So for the first one it's intro, the second one is just the, the number 2, and we're just going to go ahead and go through all these different data cards and set oh about three or four for each of these tabs okay now we're on our last tab we're just going to set this to gallery 2 selected value equals submit change this fill. Now we need to actually put something in this data card. So I actually have another gallery and we're just whatever is selected in that gallery will show up in this data card. You have your header, a horizontal gallery, and then your data cards. Okay, so we put a button in there and we're going to turn on the group by this new group by control. And we'll put two, we'll put the uh, group by control in, set that fill to yellow so it's nice and noticeable. Put two buttons in there, a cancel and submit, and a label just says, Are you sure? So this will be a pop up. When someone hits save, it'll pop up with this box asking if they're sure they want to save. So the actual submit form will be in this. Okay. Then you go ahead and change the visible property of the group by control to we'll just call it pop-up biz and we'll just do a simple update context to, to toggle the variable back and forth. Okay, so now we'll just go ahead and change this one record. We will save, 
pop up submit and you can see it updated right there now you have a problem where uh, this pop-up keeps showing up so you need to have two conditions in this variable uh, visible so you have the variable first which is pop-up viz and second you need another condition where it says gallery 2 selected value equals submit and you do ampersand ampersand so that tells power apps I only want it to be visible when both the variable is true and it's on that submit tab. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and throw another group by control in, change that fill, and see everything that's in there. And we'll do the same thing just with the data cards. We're just going to do it with this group by control where the gallery 2 selected value is submit. And so now that group by control is only is only visible on this one tab and you can throw in all the controls you want this is if you want to use patch instead of a form control you can put images galleries text inputs everything just put it in that um, group by control and it'll behave just the same as uh, the form data cards of course you would have to change it to do a patch command patch into your list I'm not going to go through and wire up a whole patch this isn't about this isn't a video about patch right now but it just you just change it from submit to form to patch and just on every single tab you could have a different group completely individual and that way people can tab they can go through a whole bunch of tabs with one one patch command